you would agree that pop music, popular music, is full of references to gang activity or gangs at this point in 2024, correct? I would disagree that pop music is full of gang references. Would you agree that um, a large amount of popular music makes references to gangs? I don't think I would agree with that. Okay. Um, are the references to gangs made in pop music? There are. Okay, so your disagreement is a disagreement in degree, but not whether that exists or not. Yeah, yeah, I would say that's accurate. Okay. Um, did you see Snoop Dogg perform at the Super Bowl? I did. In front of over a million people? Yeah, I did. And he did, in fact, crip walk to a cheering crowd? Yes, he did. Okay. And this industry that has adopted these gang references, you would agree that that is, in fact, a multi-billion dollar industry at this point, correct? Objection, Your Honor. Statement. I'll sustain it as a form. You can rephrase The it. popular music industry that has adopted these gang references, you would agree that it's a multi-billion dollar industry, correct? Objection, I still be. I stand the objection. Just rephrase it, sir. Okay. You would agree that the music industry is a multi billion dollar industry? Yes. And as stated, you would agree that the music industry has willingly adopted uh, references to gangs in the music. Um, I would I would not agree with the fact that the music industry has as a whole adopted gang references. Okay. Parts of the music industry. Um, yeah, I think I think that some in the music industry have accepted uh, the gang influence in, in popular music. Yes. Okay. Um, how many? You would agree that the one of the largest stages for the music industry would be performing at halftime at the Super Bowl, correct? Oh, absolutely. You're at six and a half minutes already. <laughs> and, Come on, let's wrap it up. And at halftime at the Super Bowl, there were explicit references to gang culture. Correct? Unfortunately, yes, there were. Beg the court's indulgence? Yes, sir. 